If you're experiencing this kind of issue, then just wait a minute and I will show you the solution that I use. Here's the classic instance of media offline where the original files have actually been moved to a different location. The fix for this, if we go into the media, select all of the clips, right mouse click, relink clips for bin, navigate to our new location, and it's now located all of the files again. So we are good to go back to our editing and continue. A simple fix for media offline. Here's a good illustration of the problem. If we preview the file in DaVinci, we can clearly see that media offline comes up. If we play the file, media offline comes up apparently at random now it has been suggested that this is something to do with the codec. If we look at the properties of the file, it's um, H.264. Now I don't really think that that's the issue because I have many, many other videos that I've imported using H.264 and it's not proven to be a problem. It's also been suggested that it's the, to do with the frame rate. It may indeed be an issue with the settings in the OBS software. This is what I'm using to capture this particular stream. If we look at the settings for the video, I've set it to 59.94 frames per second, and the output is using the software codec rather than the hardware codec. So that's a potential fix um, if you're having issues with, with OBS. A way to resolve this issue I have found is to transcode the original file using a different codec. What I've done with some conversion software is to convert the same file into a QuickTime file. So if we look now, it's still 30 frames per second, um, but it's now saying the codec is in PIG4, obviously. If we remove that file and import the new one, we can see here in the in the preview media offline just doesn't doesn't happen anymore if we play the file through similarly um, there's no media offline issue so there you have it a fix that will hopefully get you out of a sticky situation